Um, hello everybody, good afternoon. Um, this is uh, quite a big one for me. I'm a little bit nervous. Um, welcome Mr. Sub Octavian himself to uh, meet, a w meet WJ. Um, thank you very, very much for taking some time out to join us, by the way. I'm very, very grateful. So, I realise there's a lot going on. I've seen how many plates you spin in. It's, uh, it's a lot of stuff. How are you doing? I'm doing relatively well. Uh, just, you know, getting getting ready for my actually two-week vacation because I'm getting married next week. Whoa, congratulations. Yeah, yeah thank you. Thank you. Well, um, there you go. You heard. It. There you go. That's uh, that's some breaking news, I guess. Um. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's that's all. That's all news I can bring you. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Nothing. I, I actually was going to talk about Italian battleships, but now with this uh, latest piece of news, I think there is I, no point. I think this. I think this is way more important than the, any Italian battleship. Right. No offense to anybody who's historically interested in that who's watching, but that's way more important. Um. So. Question one for you. Um, obviously, in-game name or gamer tag. We all know you were Sub Octavian. Is there any other ones you ever gone by? Um, excuse me. So we know you. We know your in-game name tag or within the World of Warships community is Sub Octavian. Do you have any other ones though that you've ever used yourself? Oh no, I'm usually played by this name in other games as well. Oh. And how long have you so how long have you been playing World of Warships or how long have you been involved with World of Warships? How how far how long is that? I think it will be five years or maybe even a bit more, because uh, I've joined the team at the stage of closed alpha test. Actually beginning of closed alpha test. Yep. So yeah, and I technically I've been playing I've been playing the game since then. Even 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 though even though all the four ships and alpha was a completely different game to be honest. Yeah, the game's changed so much since alpha. I was in the second draft of closed alpha myself. Night and day from there to here. Um so besides warships, what other games does Sub Octavian enjoy playing? I try to I try to play a bit here and there. Uh, just just to to understand what's happening in the industry and for my pleasure as well. Yeah. So lately, I've been if we're talking about multiplayer games, uh, I've been playing uh, quite a lot of Rainbow Six Siege with my friends. Uh, nice. I think we also we also we also played uh, the latest Call of Duty. Uh, we spent uh, quite a few hours in Sea of Thieves. Uh -huh. I mean. Uh, but that's just you know that's just the uh, famous titles. I play a lot of other games as well, and a lot of them are single player actually. <laughs> but I don't. I, I, yeah, I can't spend too much time in uh, a certain single game. So I I play a bit of here, a bit of there. Unfortunately, I'm not finishing. Uh, I think more than half more than half of single player games I uh, I start, but. That gives you something to do though as well. You have plenty of time to obviously go back and finish them off later on. And keep them nice and fresh as well, doesn't it? You don't get you know, you don't get burnt out on a single game or anything like that. It's always it always keeps something new. I mean, uh, I usually like if I like a game, if it catches my attention, I can easily spend like one hundred hours there uh in a few months. Yeah. So yeah, it, it it just depends. It just depends, and some games they're just very good to get back to from time to time. Yeah. But normal, not normally. Normally, if I'm not doing it for the purposes of just knowing what's happening, I normally just play uh, what my usual group of friends play. Yeah. So, for example, for example, lately they started to play this uh, submarine sur indie survival game, uh, Barotrauma. Oh I yeah, think. yeah. I've got. I was in, yeah. I was in alpha with that as well. Yeah. And they made me play it. Mm. And I, I I suffered so much. I drowned and died many many times there. I, but I don't care that that much because they're my friends. So yeah, that's yeah. Just, I, goes goes with the company. Yeah, I I, I managed to lock lock some of my friends in that game and, and drown them and survive myself. They weren't happy with. Me. Um, <laughs> it's not my fault. I forgot which way the door locked. Um. 
so if we if we can just as a kind of a ballpark what is it that you're doing while gaming as a kind of a layman's term dead easy what does sub octavian do in war gaming it's not going to be easy to describe because <laughs> the as you as you progress uh, in the team like your scope of responsibilities and the scope of accountability just grows yeah. and becomes more general so i'm executive producer uh, for this game uh, i'm basically responsible for the community strategy for our communication strategy of communications directions how and what we tell to the players on the one hand on the other hand uh, responsible for making sure the developers know what our players think and say uh, and what they want to to do with the game yeah. uh, but that's uh, just part of it because uh, like uh, it, it was already my scope of work on the previous position, but now I'm also doing quite a lot of uh, facilitation of working between different offices because our team is distributed across several countries, yep. uh, as you probably know. And uh, there is a lot of interesting things involved, actually, going back and forth. Um, and occasionally, when, when it's needed, uh, I'm also being a talking head for press requests, for example, yep. just uh, and just uh, to, to sum up, to sum up, it's it's uh, half of the work is communications, maybe uh, between players and developers, and half of the work is just management, basically, because I'm not I'm not writing patch notes, uh, fortunately, alone anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's... It's been it's been many it's been actually a few years since I wrote my last patch notes uh, like single handedly but uh, yeah I'm I'm also managing an amazing team uh, which does all of that yeah because that's I mean we all I think we could all imagine the patch notes I mean you've got to be translated into so many different languages and making sure that the what they say and what the patch notes say and how it translate that. I mean, I have enough trouble trying to when I'm trying to learn bits and bats of other languages to make sure I get the pronunciation right. So that is a massive task in its own right. I can hats off to them for doing that. Sorry for any background noise as well. Someone's just decided to start cutting oh, the fence up. No worries. I used to write them myself alone while also managing super test. Actually, I think it was four, three, three years ago, four years ago, something like this. It was fun time, fun time. Oof, crimson! I can imagine. Oh man! So, out of everything that we, everything about after all, out with all the ships and all the content that's gone into World of Warships, what's your favourite one that's gone in that you enjoy? Favourite ship? Yeah. What's your favourite ship? Um, I think I think uh, it's. I, I think I'm answering this question each time uh, when I'm asked uh, differently, <laughs> depending on my mood. Yeah. But but to be fair, I like whatever I play, whatever I try, I always get back to German battleships. Yeah. So so Tirpitz, Bismarck, and Kurfürst, uh, because I, I like I like this brawling playstyle, and uh, I actually like to to act a little sometimes courageously dumb in game yep. and german battleships are suited for this perfectly fine I, i'm known so, i'm yeah. known for the same thing I, i'm known for not having an s key um i have a w key i don't have an s key for some reason i don't find it it seems to go away no i'm i'm a little I, i've yet to find anyone who's agreed with me yet but i'm afraid i like the iwaki alpha that's i still think that's a that's my i, I think that thing's awesome she's she's really special yes Special. I don't know how many people have got it to be fair. It's uh, something I'll might have to find out and see. We might have to have a look in some of the fight sites and see if anyone got out there. Not many of her. And not many, you don't see her out often either, which is cool. And the horn is amazing. <laughs> um, so, do you have, um, is there any sort of quote or anything that you have that you can, that kind of sums up? sums up you that you would see you would see in like a school yearbook or anything under a little picture of sub what would what would it say what would what would the what would your life quote be or something like 
you said you said school yearbook, right? Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, we we don't like we don't do it in Russia yeah. much. I, at least when I was graduating, we didn't have this tradition at all. So I'm I'm not I'm not sure actually what I would say there. But giving giving like remembering myself at this age, I sure it would be something really dumb. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Everyone has. Uh, everyone has. My, my mine right now for me then. Mine right now for me back then would have been just was don't buy it. Do not buy it. That was that was my worst thing. I was I was always yeah go on. Yeah, don't just say no. Um, what's your favorite band or song? What sort of music do you like to just put on, chill out, and just relax to? Or just, it gets you in the right, gets you chilled out and. Then, uh i have pretty wide musical taste i like to listen to a lot of music very different music uh and actually i, I used to play uh in in a band myself oh. uh yeah i was playing bass guitar and synthesizer a bit nice but uh I think I think uh, the greatest for me, the greatest and the most favorite band would be Pink Floyd. Oh, classic! And yeah, sorry, I'm getting old, but <laughs> nothing wrong <laughs> with nothing true. wrong with that. But uh, Pink Floyd is awesome, awesome, awesome band. And from and, and and from all of the amazing songs, of course, it's really difficult to pick one. But I would probably, if I really had to, I probably pick Echoes. Oh. Yeah, that's yeah, that's very very. See, I that I kind of grew up with with that. We um we have a, we had a family holiday home in Wales, and my dad was massively into Floyd, Deep Purple, ZZ Top, all that kind. Of thing. Um, so going down to the caravan, you, you saw these, you saw these, he's a way tape as he called it, and yeah, just going down and falling asleep to that kind of thing, waking up to that. That's that's my childhood as well. So, <laughs> yep, I can appreciate that. Um, we normally ask people for a joke now. So, do you do you ha do you have a joke that you regret telling or you want to tell? <laughs> uh, oh man, <laughs> it's it's. I I have to I have to use some appropriate joke, right? So ideally, I, 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 I don't I don't know. It's it's really a tough question. I didn't expect this. Uh, I think I'm sure that if if some some particular particular toxic players would be watching this, they would say like something like say something like CVR joke <laughs> in our game or something like this. But but, but I don't think so. Uh, I, I, I okay. I actually, <laughs> I, I can tell you, uh, non non world non world of warships related joke. I heard uh, re I, I heard recently. I just I don't know why, but I like it so much. So I'm 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 a big fan of Star Wars, and okay. I play se several Star Wars board games and so on and so forth. So I kind of have some of the Star Wars memes and memes and jokes around my uh, usual social network activity so uh, there was a very nice joke uh do you know why you can't email uh a photo to a jedi no why can't you email a photo because attachments are forbidden and if you don't understand <laughs> this joke you're not, you're not a true star wars fan <laughs> i do it i do it i do appreciate <laughs> yeah i can see that yeah, attachments are for bit. <laughs> oh dear. Episode two for anybody who hasn't seen it. That's where episode one and episode two, I think that crosses over where that actually gets brought up with uh, Anakin in front of the uh, council. That's where you first hear that. So there you go, guys. Go you just to the back, just so you can understand it if you haven't watched them. Um, they are some of the good. They are, I, I don't know whether I like the the last three, the last three they did, or the first three that Lucas did. Kind of, they both they all fit together very nicely though, especially when you include Rogue One in the middle between them. I think they, uh, I think they're good. The Ro Rogue One is, I think, the perfect bridge between them. Really, it was. It, 
I, I I actually I remember watching it in cinema, and I got back from the from the movie theater, and I immediately started to watching episode four because it was so uh, nicely plugged into it from the ending of Rogue One to the episode four. It's amazing. Yeah. It was. It was that the 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 match from the the match from episode three into episode four. That that's that. It was almost it was almost literally just a perfect transition from you were spot on. Um, yeah. Now we normally we normally finish by asking you know where can people find your content at, but I, but it, it's dead easy for everybody, isn't it? You just you know you just launch the war gaming center and click World of Warships and ta da there you go. There's 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 subs content. <laughs> it's all there for you. Um, I used to I, I used to post my spreadsheets a lot, but <laughs> then I got got in Reddit to the knee. Oh you know. yeah, the, the wonderful world of Reddit. <laughs> we we love you, Reddit. You're, uh, you're, you're, actually, actually, we do. Yeah, we, may may your views continue to split everything continually. But then again, it is what makes the world a wonderful place. There's so many different views. It helps everything going forward. Um, but thank you so much for taking some time out of what is a ridiculously busy day as we've all got a, all got a night. Well, thank you very much. Um, I hope everybody's keeping safe in St. Petersburg as well. I uh, hope you're all doing all going on in the world. Um, but folks, Sub Octavian, thank you so much, sir, for joining us. It's been awesome. Thank, thanks for inviting me and have amazing battles and productive results and a lot of citadels. I mean, uh, citad citadeling enemies, not citadels on your ships, of course. Thank you, sir. You as well. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.